Oh my word, is it broken? No, it's not. Hey, what's up guys? Sir James D. DJ here. Major system upgrade today. Oh yeah. Core i7-980X, baby. Oh yeah. Here's what, 1000 and That's going to end up being about $1,050. We'll get you. See the batch on there? Now, the thing that really has surprised me is this heat sink. I mean, it seems actually pretty decent looking. And anybody who's seen all my videos will know I've just absolutely railed against Intel heat sinks in the past. So this is quite an improvement. I mean, I'm not going to use it. I mean, I've got water cooling, but yeah, it seems improved. They've got some, they got Q and P on there, which is quiet and performance, just an RPM toggler. Now, people have been reporting that when switching from the 920 or 930, 940, whatever, to the 980X, that if you don't do a complete CMOS clear, that you might run into some issues. So, took the battery out and hope I don't lose it. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is strip off the Arctic Silver, put a fresh coat on, get that out. And then I'm going to be doing Cinebench. Um, I already ran the Cinebench with the 920. I'm going to be doing Adobe Premiere Pro encoding with this. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to do a Heaven Benchmark run in order to see if there's any sort of gaming performance as well. Now, I know this thing is going to absolutely destroy the 920. At least I hope so. That it'll kill the 920 in the first two benchmarks. But we'll see how it does on Heaven as well. So, all right. Well, I'll get it hooked in there and then... We'll get rocking. Okay, so here we are in Cinebench. We'll see how big of a difference 12 cores makes, baby. Yeah, you can see it's so far ahead already. Now, for this, I've got the 980X knocked down to the 920 stock, which is 2.66 gigahertz. And I've got 12 gigs of RAM in. And I've just got that at 1600. So, yeah, you can see, oh my God, look at that difference. And this isn't even overclocked. I mean, can you imagine what this looked like at, you know, 4.5, 4.6? My word. That's a heck of a performance difference. Incredible. Wow. Boy, that, that is almost finished. Oh, she's done. <laughs> and look at how much further that one has left to go. Boy. Now, clearly the 980X is on the left. 920 is on the right. But, holy mackerel. 6.73 CPU points. And the 920 ends up with, let's see if we can get it in there, 4.52 CPU points. So that's about 50% gain with four more cores, that makes sense. Now here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro encoding. Now, interesting side fact with the processor. I ended up ordering it from Newegg and because I you know I haven't had that very good experiences with Tiger Direct in the past and I had to do a combo deal in order to get the processor. And so I ended up getting an Asus or Asus whatever Rampage 2 Gene Micro motherboard and I'm just going to put that on eBay. So, along with the, the 920, 
So if you want to own my processor, you know, my 920DO, check it out. I only had it for six months. So, yeah, I think I got it back in October, I believe. So, yeah, if you want to own that. And see, we're at the end here. Look at that. 52 seconds versus 101.59. Now, I wanted to do a full video encode there. I didn't just want to do a 30 second clip. So, that would save you 10 minutes right there. And here's the Heaven benchmark. Now, I kind of have my doubts as to whether it's going to have a heck of a lot of gaming performance. Um, it might have some, but, I mean, 3D Mark Vantage, I would assume, and 3D Mark 06, especially, because that's so processor-based, those are going to have big improvements, but I'm not necessarily sure the Heaven Benchmark will, will have that big of an improvement. Again, we'll see what the scores are, but... Yeah, I see 47.2 for the 920. And we got 47.8 for the 980X. So yeah, wow is all I have to say. Wow. It is unbelievable. And I love especially looking on there and seeing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> especially doing the Adobe Premiere Pro encoding. All of them were at about 80%. And it was just an awesome sight to see, baby. So, again, I think the 970 Golf Town is coming out about October. So if you want to get into that. Now, it's going to be a locked multiplier. Not like this one. So, well, thanks for watching. And here's the motherboard. And the processor is up there. And... <laughs> That's a gift from a friend. So... All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. And be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I look forward to doing some more work with this awesome piece of machinery. This processor is a beast. So, all right. Talk later.